Question 60. Suppose that stacks and queues are provided as opaque data types. That means you can't see inside how they work. It's just accept them as they are. Offering only operations to add elements, remove elements, and test for emptiness. That's the only operations we've got. Suppose a programmer wants to count the number of elements in a stack or a queue, which is currently in some state, using only one auxiliary stack or queue. The structures can be used in any way possible based on the methods they offer, but C must be restored to its state after counting the elements. So the question is, could we count the elements um, using where C is a Q and D is a Q? Well, that would be pretty easy, right? We could take a Q, say Q1, and we put it into Q2, Q2 would be empty, we just take this this queue, put the items, put the items in here, and count them. One, two, three, four, five. And when we're done, put all the items back in the queue. Right? This is this is always uh, uh, first in. Well, last in, first out. So LIFO. So they're both they're both going to be going in the same direction. So basically, if we had an item. A would go in here, then B, then C, then D, and we'd pull it out the same way. You know, like a line in a, like a, line in a grocery store. So that's, for two, it would be very straightforward. You just move all the items, items into, Q, into the queue, and then put them all back the way they were before. So that's Q. Now what about a stack? A stack is a first-in the last in, first out. Yeah, sorry, this, this one is first in, first out. I can't believe I just did that. This one's first in, first out. So you, you have a item A, B, C, and we pull this one out of here, put it in here, and so forth, and it just goes like that. Now let's try the stack. Stack, you have a last in, first out. So in this one, we have, let's suppose we have A, B, C, D. In this one, you put all the elements into here, right? So you have D, C, B, A, right? You put them all in there, and then you count them as you're coming back. So this one, you'd have two-step process also, but you'd put everything in here, then count them coming back, and, that's, and that would restore the stack to its same original method. Now the question would be, what happens if you have one Q, A, B, C, D, and then one stack? Okay. Well, if you had the Q, think about this. You'd be taking the A, and you'd put it in here, and you'd take the B, put it in here, take the C, put it in here, and take the D, and put it in here. Okay. So now the Q is empty, and the stack is full. Now what we can do is put, put them all back in here. What's that going to do? It's going to give us D, C, B, A. Right? So it's going to put them in there backwards. But then how do we reverse it? We just do it again. Put them back in there, put them back in there. So, so you'd have to do extra work there, but you can uh, uh, count the elements and Restore the, uh, the system as it was when it started out, whether you use queues, stacks, whatever you want to do. So the answer to this question 60 is E, 1, 2, and 3.